Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Warming up to the weekend. That's the theme over the next few days. Those temperatures will be on the rise. Let's start with how we did today. We'll look at the high temperature. Look at my three degree guarantee. I said today we'd hit 65 degrees. We put this into motion and let's check it out. Uh, high temperature today at 63 officially, just kind of getting within that range of the three degree guarantee. And the temperatures are on the rise. We're going to bring it way up into the 70s tomorrow and into the 80s. Near 80 Saturday and into the 80s on Sunday and into Monday as well. Other high temperatures around the area in the 60s. Pretty consistent low to mid 60s today in the valleys. In the mountains, we get to the upper 40s. 59 in Haley today. And here's what's happening right now. Precision Live Now is showing another wave of rain coming in. Now, it's not all that impressive, but it's pretty steady. And uh, there's some moderate rain in there. It is sliding to the east now over Ontario and Weezer. Uh, approaching a little further to the east here. Enter Western Canyon County. Not Ada County yet, but over the next hour or so. Don't be surprised that rain starts to move in. There's Fruitland, Ontario, Weezer, Payette with some rain falling here. This will continue to track to the east. Parma now getting some rain. So some rain overnight and that lingering moisture could help to, fo to form some fog tomorrow morning as it moves on in. But once this wave of cloud cover moves on through, you see it right in here. And there's a few more showers behind it. So again, some rain tonight. The drier weather will work its way in from the west. And that dry weather is going to dominate with high pressure ridge building in. We'll see it on the future cast. This goes into to the future now, bringing that cloud cover away. Look at tomorrow morning and then during the afternoon, look at the sunshine coming out. An isolated shower could pop up in the West Central Mountains or the uh, Northeast Oregon around Baker County. But again, I still think tomorrow's going to be an absolutely delightful day coming up. Here's the wider picture showing this future cast through Thursday. There's the cloud cover departing to the north. On Friday, there's that isolated shower to the north. In the 70s Friday, getting to near 80 on Saturday. And on Sunday, we should be in the 80s and everything moving from south to north. Here comes the warm weather to stay, at least for several days, as the storminess goes to the north and the east. This system stays to our west. Here's the sunshine across southern Idaho. So take a look at that forecast for this weekend. A huge ridge of high pressure jet stream way to the north. The heat surges in. So we begin tomorrow with temperatures hitting the mid 70s. 75 in Boise, 74 in Mountain Home, 76 in Ontario. Some fog in the morning, a little warmer during the afternoon than it was today. Certainly that 10 to 12 degrees. 76 in Riggins on the main salmon and topping 70 right in Garden Valley, Idaho City, Payette, uh, uh, Pine, and Featherville. Boise County. County looks really nice. 60s in the higher elevations. Stanley's going to be pretty decent tomorrow as well with temperatures warming up. 63 in Sun Valley, 61 in Stanley. A slight chance for a mountain shower, but I really think we're going to have mostly sunny skies out of the Magic Valley. A beautiful day. 73 in Twin, near 70 in all other locations like Shoshone, Burley, and Gooding. My precision extended forecast. Here's your weekend, folks, and it is still looking absolutely fantastic with temperatures warming to near 80 on Saturday, into the 80s on Sunday, and warm again. Again, on Monday, you might want to get that four day weekend in. Okay. Is that good? <laughs> Don't tell the boss. Yeah, it was not.